Welcome to Top 10 SBC Use Cases. Number three, enterprise SIP trunking. And this is moving over to more of an enterprise kind of solution, typically uh, either a large business or an enterprise class customer who's got an IPPBX. And they're going to work with a number of different operators. They might have a toll-free operator. They might have a, one or more inbound DIDs, international inbound and outbound operators. Really what this is kind of like bring your own trunking in their own services from these different operators. And they need to normalize them and bring them into an IPPBX application. So they need interoperability, but they also need to protect the application because a lot of these services, the toll-free, inbound, or international, you know, you don't exactly know if someone gets into one of those services, they want to be able to protect their own network. And lastly is routing, because with outbound calls, right, the IPPBX sends an outbound call, the session border controller can take on the responsibility of figuring out which one of the operators is going to handle the outbound call. And load balancing, routing, and operators maybe going out of service and routing traffic to a different operator. All these things are part of an enterprise a SIP trunking offer. And this is, again, a fairly popular one. A customer example, we worked on a project with MERS Goodwill. They they're a you know, not-for-profit agency uh, in Missouri, and they actually had 107 different locations with IPPBXs. So this is kind of a hybrid here. And they've got multiple operators. In the particular case they need a little help with is, is inbound DIDs and routing them off to the appropriate branch office. So the routing function plus the previous use case that we just talked about with delivering the services to the, you know, not only the appropriate remote office, but traversing the NAT to get to the IPPBX that was at that particular branch is what they needed help with. And this worked out really, really well for them. They were very happy with it. It met their budget requirements and it let them then manage their service providers much more efficiently because they're able to consolidate on a couple of operators for their local long distance traffic out of the main office and not have to have services to each of the branch offices, which was getting very, very expensive. So this worked out really, really well. Let them consolidate the traffic and save them quite a bit of money. Um, there's lots of resources on our on the free SBC Pro SBC website. We have written versions of the case studies on the case study page and we've got um, just some abstract descriptions of the use cases uh, very brief um, summaries of the use cases on the on the use case pull down at the top of the website and of course the the library on youtube has all of the not only the use cases and customer case studies but we got these um, training modules the recorded webinars we got some how-to tutorials to show how to configure and manage it. A handful of customer interviews on there. I also have some frequently asked questions, some um, recorded podcasts, and as much, much more. And again, I you know highly encourage you to um, check out some of that now, but um, you know subscribe to it. Every time we finish up one of these webinars, for example, we post a recording of the event and then you can be notified of the recording being posted. Yeah.